Okay, this is uh, Seth Asri, and I want to uh, quickly show you about text boxes, a, a great way to get text on a um, piece of paper where otherwise it wouldn't go. Um, right now, I'll just show you on uh, Microsoft Word 2007. I'll uh, go ahead and launch Word. Using the uh, quick launch. Now, I'll show you on a document what you may or may not know is that uh, Word comes with a bunch of different uh, bunch of templates uh, built in. You just click over here into, into the um, into the new button, click new, and then this thing comes up. And what we're gonna do is we're going to um, go down to forms here, and then go to legal, and Word comes with a bunch of these things, a bunch of forms already built in. I think some of them come from Fine Law, some of them come from uh, other places. That uh, Here's McGraw-Hill, so from McGraw-Hill, from Microsoft. And there are different different uh, things. But what we're going to use is the basic pleading form with 32 lines. Get that open. And it's going to say it's, don't, it's only available for uh, genuine products. Just click Continue. And then it downloads the, the form. And here it is, the basic... The basic form. This is a nice one to get the to get the numbers over here. This is a good one. Basically, what we want to do is we want to try to get the words uh, by ex parte hearing up in the right corner. Now you can try to type in there, and it's going to be very difficult to get up there. A nice way to do that, like I said, uh, is text boxes. To get a text box, then there we just go to insert up here on the ribbon. Go over to text box. There are a number of pre-formatted text boxes, as you can see. Some of them are pretty nice. Uh, they're good for um, making documents a little more interesting looking. But what we're going to do here is go on to the bottom here, just draw a text box. The, uh, m the mouse becomes a crosshairs. Then we just click and drag out a box, let go, and then we can just type in the side of it. And that is it. And then we can resize this box. And we can format the stuff inside the box different from separately from the rest of it. We can make it, let's say, Arial. Make it a little bigger. And there we go. And of course, it's surrounded by um, this black line, which is something we have to get rid of. We, want, we don't want a border on this. So when the mouse pointer becomes the, the uh, crosshair, just right click on that and go to format text box and then go into the line here and the color line right now is set to black just set to no color and then there you have it a blank text box that you can move around on the page when the mouse becomes crosshairs that means that you can move it and you can put it in all sorts of places where wherever you'd like to have it. And that's an easy way to get stuff on, on the page without driving yourself crazy.